Hey guys, do you have a wicked cool super ultra wide like this from Samsung and you want to update the firmware? Well, stay tuned. Alright, so today I'm going to take you guys through the steps that I did to update the firmware of my Samsung Super Ultra Wide Monitor. And it wasn't fairly straightforward. I'm sure there's other ways to do it that's easier, but I'll just explain my way and, you know, what worked. I haven't actually committed the change yet because I wanted you guys to see the whole process. So first I um, searched my particular model, right? And this is the one that I got and I downloaded the firmware and the driver. I installed the driver first and uh, then the firmware. The firmware, when it downloads, it will just, um, if you see down here, it's just a zip file. Inside that file, there's a folder, and inside that folder, there's a single file with the extension .bin. So what I did was um, I reformatted a USB key. So if you see in the back here, um, I have it in USB um, SS1, which is the, um, you know, the USB 3.0 one. And I'm not sure if you can see there, but it's the one closest to the back of the monitor, which the one and two, it did, didn't make sense for me. So, but that's the one closest to the very back. Now, if you have to actually go to the manual to like look up how to do this. So I figure I'd make a quick video if it helps people, because I myself, love to learn from video and reading just ain't my thing because I like the high bandwidth videos to understand. Um, but before I continue here, um, if you guys like this video and you find it helpful, uh, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of helpful how-to technology videos and some funny dad joke unboxing reviews. And you know, every subscription um, helps me make these videos more often. So, um, after doing that and loading the bin file onto the USB key and sticking it into the port, I found out which port it needed because if you go to user manual and then in the manual, um, if you just, I just did this, I typed in update to find it and it was like update software via USB. And it says right here to put it in that one. And then how to get this special menu to come up is what they want you to do is press the little knobby thing down here, okay? Hold down for five seconds. And it says, do you want to update via USB? Now, if you put it in the right USB port, it's gonna look and it will find. It says, okay, your old version is 1000 and, uh, 1004, the new one is 1007.2. Do you wanna upgrade? So let's do it. And one of the reasons to update your Samsung monitor firmware is you could take advantage of new features and functionality and also bug fixes if certain monitors have this weird flickering or something that's not compatible with a certain version of HDMI or a certain version of um, DisplayPort. You know, always updating is the best. The reason why these companies put out firmware updates and whatnot to products like these is because um, people complain and um, they fix stuff, that's one. Second, they want to always continually improve and upgrade their services, um, features and functionality, so it's always good to do. I'm gonna switch out here to Okay, so it says 100%. There's me in the reflection. And let's see. Now there is a bit of a risk with firmware upgrades. If you don't pick the right model, you could potentially brick your um, monitor. Um, I'm back here, so let's see what it says. It says uh, the optimal resolution is this, and the current is this uh, language, and then that's fine. And then I'll go to close. And let's just check if it did update. So I'm gonna go over to menu, down over to information. And there you have it, uh, 1000, uh, 7.2. So I hope you guys liked that quick look on how to upgrade your Samsung super ultra wide monitor firmware and the steps I took. Hopefully it's helpful. If it is, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.